Okay, we're going to take a look at the first view of the new TI SmartView CE version that you guys will see. So your icon will look like this now instead of this view here. So this one is going away, no longer uh, working. This is the one that will be working now and you should see on your device. So when you first click on the new version, this is what comes up. You can click OK and you'll notice that it doesn't look exactly like the calculator uh, that you're using because this is the CI or the CE version. But you can go to View, Emulator Model, and you can do the TI-84 Plus. And it'll change that over and look like the silver version. You also can just click right here and switch between those options. And depending on how you like yours to look, I've heard some teachers say that they prefer just to have the calculator showing over here and they don't want the big view. You can toggle that on and off right here. Um, notice when you have the large view over here, it does not show over here by the calculator. If you turn that off because you don't want this, you just want it to be on the calculator, you can just toggle that by switching or clicking on this button right here. And it will put that screen over here for you. Then if you didn't like the key press history, you can turn that off under view and hide key press history. And you now have just a working calculator that you can resize. And as you resize it here, when you, whatever you leave it as, that's what it'll open as the next time. So if you're one that likes to have it just look like this, then by all means just put it on there um, and close it this way each time. If you want to have the bigger screen, again, it's just toggling that right there. If you know that you're going to do things with the emulator and you want it to continue to show up as you click on other stuff and not go away all the time, you can go ahead and click this always in front under the view option and that will make it where as you open up um, Active Inspire or a PowerPoint or anything else that you may be using on your computer that the calculator will always stay up on the top and you'll be able to see that at all times. Once you have your screen minimized, if you want to or need to make the calculator bigger uh, without having a bunch of extra space over here, then you can always just grab in the corner and drag it out. And as you do that, you can see you can get a bigger calculator or a smaller one. So I hope that helps you uh, get your calculator set up.